All right, so I, I think uh, our secret message on the titanium underneath the plastic says everything about that fight. <laughs> That was quick. Uh, that was unfortunate. You know, verts always have a lot of power. Like we always say, it only takes one one hit to turn the fight. Um, we didn't run wedge with that fight. We were afraid that they would just chew him up and the plastic didn't really <laughs> do its job. I think uh, they had these tiny wedges that just got under us enough to get like a real optimum bite. Uh, it looks like the billet's okay. We'll take a look. We lost an ESC over here. Um, so this is what was smoking. Uh, the batteries were fine, and we're not sure why that cut out drive, because as you can see, we have two power switches. The rear of the drive should have been good to go. Um, I don't know if we were stuck on something in the arena or what, but uh, yeah, we're not quite sure why we stopped. Um, the hammer was still operational. We got one really good hit right where we needed to, just quite didn't have enough power to to get through but it was it severed some uh sensor cables inside and almost took out their receivers really really close we just couldn't stay in the fight long enough uh, i've never seen the plastic get ripped off like that before um so i guess maybe we'll have to rethink some of our uh, configurations you know not how we wanted the season to end but at least it was pretty spectacular <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so close. Yeah, yeah, really, really good um, top so we double layered our top plates. Yeah. So yeah. Totally good. yeah oh, good. also look at this. We got bite up to here. Like, there's there's never been marks up here before. I don't know where's the fill ups. It was the wedgelets. Yeah, the wedge lets help. Yeah. So the batteries are like. Right, right there. Right yeah. here and right here. I would have pierced most of the weapon battery. Yeah, it didn't go all the way through. So oh, we got yeah, all of these shears. As soon as you hit us once, like shears? when you're like kind of in trouble, I was like, I'm out, I'm out. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Our receiver wire is oh. right there. Oh my god. Wait. Our sensor wire is gone. Nah, you guys oh shit. That's a duct tape. So I guess you, uh, got, you, you, you literally it sliced. Dented. Yeah, but you didn't. You we still didn't pierce it because yeah. we hit you, you right on that this this far. So oh, what, we're, what we were trying wow. to hide is the fact that all of this is quarter it's, and yeah, the rest of this too. is three fourths. So we didn't want you to know that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, did, you, did a bit. you did a bit. So I think you hit here. All of our receiver wires were right here. Man, like an inch. So we're taking apart the robot, um, and the billet looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a dent in the back here, uh, but this is workable, nothing functional here. Um, there's some scratches and things. You can see the weapon assembly over here came out. Popped out nice and easy. Everything here is functional. But we did find out something really interesting. On the final shot, uh, we nailed their uh, robot over the top of their spinner and we're really, really close to hitting their receiver. We severed some things inside because we dented in the top. But it turns out that when we did that, one of our motors on the hammer was actually completely disconnected. This is the front face of the motor. It's supposed to be up here. Um, it's, it's completely come apart. <laughs> and so uh, not only was this not working, uh, it was probably slowing us down a significant amount. Uh, so that's an interesting one. But imagine if we had had both motors for that fire. Uh, what might have happened when we hit that spot? Ah. Bots FC and Shatter are sponsored by Prismere.
Manufacturing Simplified. TMS Titanium by Titanium Online. Maxamps, award-winning batteries, and viewers like you.